Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with a new LP. This one is one of my top favorites, Banjo-Kazooie. Oh man, I am so excited to replay this game. <laughs> uh, I think it's like the first platforming game I ever played. Or like 3D platforming game. I mean, a lot of people did um, Super, Super Mario 64 or something like that. I think this was actually the first game I played like that. Which is pretty crazy. So that's why it's so important for me to do, 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 do. So the, originally it was released on N64, um, but after Rare joined up with Microsoft, they made this HD remake, so... It's gonna be pretty neat old, like, spiff graphic, maybe, upgrades. Which, which file do I have here? I guess only this one. A race! Yes, please. Yeah, just, just do it. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the music right here. It's all like Game Boy eyesed. Sweet. Oh my god, I'm excited. Let's do this! Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who's the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Not really. Well, maybe in the wrong way. Yeah, in the wrong way. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find... It's Tootie, she's cute and kind. Thingpot, you're not very smart by saying that. Well... We'll see about that. Uh-oh. Evil Grunty! She's on a rampage, man. <laughs> Her evil lair is right there. <laughs> oh, God. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Ooh, that sounds nice, Tootie. Look at her bounce around. She's, she's crazy. Of course, we're sleeping. That's nice. <laughs> That's a good way to start. <laughs> Wake up! I want to go on an adventure, too! Don't worry, Kazooie. Don't even worry about it. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Uh... Don't do that! Is that your brother? What? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. No, what? How could you possibly think that? I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag! Uh-oh. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon be need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody. Help! Banjo, wake up! Now! Freaking wake up, Banjo. <laughs> what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside, there's trouble! <laughs> Kazooie never leaves that backpack. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, until the sequel, I guess. So here we are, we're Banjo, and Kazooie's in our backpack. Sweet! And there's our trash cans. I wonder what trash day is.
Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. Who was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you are, like, super knowledgeable and you like to push the B button uh, particularly much. I did it. I pushed B. I did it. You bet we're good enough, bottle brain. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Okay, dude. So yeah, uh, if you hit uh, the the A on that, he'll you'll actually have to go around and learn all the moves before you can move on. So it's just to speed things up a little bit. Man, it's good to be playing the happy-go-lucky uh, platform and joy yet again. I'm an extra honeycomb piece, collect six of us, and you get some more honeycomb. Sweet. <laughs> I like how everything in this game talks. Rare is a silly goof. Silly goof. And actually, I think there's six honeycomb pieces in this first little tutorial area. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. I think when they were first making this game, they, like, the backpack was just supposed to be, like, robotic or something. Just a little robot backpack, and they're like, okay, well, we'll have it sprout legs and have wings, and then someone's like, hey, let's just put a bird in there. Okay. And that is how it came to be. Well, sort of. Before that, it was a kid with a sword, a wooden sword, and a dog, and was fighting pirates or something. They called it Dream. <laughs> or something. It's, it's very different from that. Oh no, I missed it the life that I like particularly. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. Hello, carrot. Boosh! Sorry. Mmm! I'm sticky tasty honey energy! Sticky tasty. That's my favorite kind. Right, here we go. <laughs> go for me, I'm a trophy! Oh, I'm an extra life. I'm a trophy! I'm a trophy! Hello, cauliflower man. I think I have to climb one of these trees. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of worried about starting this LP right now because um, I just noticed Game Grumps started it. But, eh, whatever. <laughs> I can't always be afraid to start this game. I gotta do it eventually. Take that right, rocks with your tiny eyes blinking. <laughs> Kazooie takes so much abuse in this game. Oh, that's hilarious. Give me that, give, give, give it. So, yeah. I'm probably not going to do too much explaining on, like, all these moves I'm doing, just because this game's been out for a while. But, there are a lot of moves. A lot, a lot. Um, ow. That was pretty easy. Sweet. So, let's go save our sister, Tootie. Grunty is going to steal her cuteness before we even know what's going on. If it were, I can't believe it. If it weren't for Dingpot, uh, this whole thing would never have happened. Because if he just stuck with, oh yeah, you're pretty, Grunty. You definitely stand out in a crowd. Yeah, if he just stuck with that, then uh, none of this would have happened. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. 
across the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck! Thanks, bottles. I wonder why they call them bottles. Is it because his glasses are like bottle bottom? Bottom 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 bottom. Anyway, ooh, this is. We're going into Grunty's mouth. Or. Her lair mouth. Whoa. Look how scared she is. Oh no! These fine contraptions, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is soon, soon be ready. Banjo! Tootie! Tootie! I'm coming, Tootie! Oh no, we're gonna swap ugliness. Or, have looksness. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. You're... How can you talk to me from inside your weird contraption? I don't know. So here's the Jiggy. These are like the stars of Mario, but in this. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with the piece missing. Got a Jiggy. But don't, but don't. Eat, and she eats it. Kazooie, you're not supposed to eat those. They're like important for the game. Ain't that right? Grunty. Uh, reversed freaking looking controls. She's so beautiful! So pretty. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, the Jiggies are like stars, basically. Open up new worlds as you collect more and more of them. As you can see, we go up to this painting, it's missing a piece. But if we replace the piece, then the world will open. So let's just do that. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing pieces with the jigsaw. We've got the first jigsaw, Gogger Boy. Great, fill it in. Push, push the A button, I assume. Yeah, okay, good. I, I wanna. There we go. That's it. The picture's complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Not really, they're not like puzzles I actually have to think about, I, they just kind of happen. Anywho, woo! We're in Mumbles Mountain, the first world! There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my mole hills and I'll explain. Sweet. Oh my god. So, one of the big things about this game that I love so much is the music. It's, it's like... Almost the same theme for every area of the game, sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe. But, like, as you enter different areas, the music will blend to, like, a different style of that same song. So it's pretty sweet. Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. Yay, Jinjo! Oh, look at that cute little eyes blinking right there. Me Mumbo's token, used for Mumbo magic. <laughs> I know he says like Ekum Bokum, but every time I got one of those, it sounded like they were saying Ekum Tokum. To to not Tokum, Token. Jeez. That's what I always thought. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Thank you, note. So yeah, uh, this is basically a huge collectathon game, but it's fun and enjoyable, and there's humor and just delicious eyesight visual everywhere. You know what I mean? You know what I mean there? Notes? How you doing? See, we're underwater and the music changed. Isn't that cool? And then it just blends seamlessly into this. God, it's so good! Hello? Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! Okay. So yeah, he'll, he'll give you health uh, when you break his body, not his mind. 
Bruh, this Congas tree be hit bare with oranges. Better not. Don't touch Congas blocks. But they're so, like, orange targeted. Dang it. Oh, Pont. Grr, clever bear, find Conga's gold. I'm pretty clever, Conga. I gotta say. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Thank you, Jiggy. You're very nice. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on Okay. Thank you, Bottles. Coggles. Bobbles. Hey! That Conga's orange. Put it back. Yum! Oranges are nice! <laughs> Freaking orange. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk. So this chimp wants an orange, that's why I got it. There you go, chimpy chimp chimp. There you go. Oh, chimpy like Conga's orange. Chimpy help fat barren bird. I'm not fat, I'm just big bone. Do ya chimp? Got your puzzle piece. Alright. See Ooh, eggs. <laughs> Everything is talking. Where are the eggs? Cause we can learn to use us as ammo. Of course not. I mean, of course, that's like what birds like to do with their offspring. Just, just blow them at things. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press B instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never ask. Birdbrain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the left stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Exciting, wow. Bows. I know that's not what they're saying. But anyway. Hey Conga, I, I know you already gave us like two jig jiggies in quick succession, but I want another one. Me safe here, Baron Bird can't hit Conga. Oh yeah? Dude! He's like rapid fire. Stop it. Bear beat Conga. Give prize to Bear. Please do. Thank you. I'll appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. That's a jiggy for Mr. Congo. Yeah. So we got like three jiggies just from this little area. This is not a very big world. And it's, it's a slippery slope right there. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up the steep slopes. I already found you once, dude. Getting notes on the ladder. Stairs. Ladders and stairs are different things you understand. Those termites are saying Huck 234. <laughs> the Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right and left trigger while moving Kazooie around with the left stick. Go practice. Thanks, dude. Actually, the Talon Trot is probably the most useful ability in the entire freaking game just because it speeds you up. That you go on slopes. I see you, Jiggy, in the middle of Stonehenge here. I only just kind of give to you. I'm coming, Jinjo! The only thing I don't like about Talent Rot is that Kazooie is like constantly clucking as you're walking around. <laughs> It's really annoying because it's like the thing you use all the time. But, oh, 
Orange Jinjo! He's got green eyes, look at that. Interesting. I wonder if they used to blink in the original game. <laughs> you gotta wonder with the HD remake what they changed. Like, like did you see that Microsoft logo on the in the intro video? And how he's like got angry and kicked it? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm sure it said Nintendo on there before, but still. I don't have the thing to break this. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down up to the floor. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Whoa, dude. Oh, thank you for your help, good sir. So here we go. Well, boosh! <laughs> Poor Kazooie, man. <laughs> She's so scrawny compared to Banjo, but she takes all this abuse. Hilarious. Actually, the first place I was uh, exposed to this game was from a Nintendo Power magazine. Because they were selling these little plush dolls of all the characters. And they're just so. they looked so cool. That's how we got this game the first time. Like, hey, let's get it. Let's, let's get the game. We didn't actually get any of those plush dolls, but... The green has green eyes, too. Whoa. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door. Shell. Thing. You only need half of them. That's crazy. Breaking huts is how you get jiggies. Okay, um... What else we got? I guess we can feed this dude. Hello. We Juju, Momo's to totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. If by blue stones you mean eggs. Tiny little baby birds that will never be born. Pretty delicious, eh? Pretty delicious. <laughs> I don't know why they wanted to be fed if they were just gonna get annihilated. What the heck? Oh no, there's a freaking honeycomb chunk up there. Yikes, I may have to come back and get that. I was wondering where that was, actually. I played this level a little bit ago and I was like, well, I don't know where that other one is. There's even Jiggies and Mumble Skull Eye. So this is Mumbo's hut. You might recognize it from that one Minecraft video I made like last year. I, I tried to remake Mumbo's hut, but I think it was more Banjo Tooie version, which is a little bit bigger. But whatever. in we go. There he is, probably the coolest character in the game. And there he's just sleeping. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, Hut Boy. Mumbo magic tokens hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. I see your sign. Can I just, like, change the five to a four and be good to go? <laughs> Look at him, he shakes his little shaman rod like a, like a rattle. Oh, He's so cute with those big eyes. It's just every every character in this game is so like hilarious and colorful and cool looking. <laughs> Not to mention, it's a pretty solid platformer. Which I always love. Alright, so let's go get that other mumbo t Actually, I didn't get anything on these hills yet, did I? Noop! Might as well do that. I don't know why she eats them. <laughs> Maybe she's just grabbing them with her beak and putting them in the backpack. Probably. 
how she's even carrying Banjo right now is kind of a mystery. <laughs> she's mu she must work out. She got she's got pretty strong chicken legs. Alrighty. That's that's all on this hill. There's actually, uh, I think there's a honeycomb right there, which we can get right now, I think. But normally you're supposed to get the mumbo power to get this, but you can do it just like that. Sweet. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you can't kill this bull, but you can, like, knock him out or something. So we're not even gonna mess with him, because he's a punk. He's a punk, punk, punk. This music is just so playful. <laughs> Love it. Last Jinjo! With green eyes as well. Only one Jiggy left in the in Mumbo's Mountain. Man, we're gonna finish this place off in this first part. I know it's gonna been like almost 30 minutes, but whatever. <laughs> I don't mind. I might actually make shorter episodes in this game, just because there isn't too much to it, I guess. I don't know. I'll shoot for around 20 minutes normally, but for some reason this one's been going on for way too long. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there was a cutscene, what do you want to do? Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in the Ticker's Tower. Ticker's Tower. Are you a Ticker? Or is there someone named Ticker here? So, yeah, this is the, like, termite mound. As you can see, uh, it's too slippery even for our Talon Trot, so we're gonna need some other way to get up there. And Mr. Mumbo's gonna help us with that, aren't you, Mr. Mumbo? Yes, you are. Help us right now, yes, very nice of you. Hello! Ah, Banjo has plenty of tokens. Stand on Skull and press X to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Oh my god! Mumbo Magic 3 to change back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. <laughs> practice needed. So yeah, we're a termite now. Whoa! We have no real means of attacking, but um, I think... Actually, I think there's only one thing he turns you into in this game that you can actually attack with. Everything else is just well, another way to get around, basically. Which is pretty cool. I like turning in all these different animals. It's sweet. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's -a go, yeah? As Termite Banjo, we should be able to climb on the steeper stuff. Hello. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. You can't have them. They're my yellow shorts. I stole them from the man in the yellow hat. Give me that cool backpack, Aurelis. No way, man. We found all 100 notes. Sweet. Well done. Thank you. I like how everybody insults Banjo for being fat, but they love his shorts in the backpack. <laughs> for some reason. They're just jealous that they're naked. They're just jealous. Oh, an extra life of scariness. Why did I... Whew, God, yeah. What a... Meh. Almost to the last jiggy. Booyah! Woo! <laughs> that little fanfare is just to tell us that we found everything. Okay, so there are a couple things left I want to do. I want to get that empty honeycomb piece over there, and I also want to push that button over there now that we have that beak slam attack. But I think I'm going to save that for next time, seeing as how this is already over 30 minutes. 
or so. So yeah. Anywho, next time we're gonna get those and then move on. See what other worlds and crazy shenanigans we can get into. Yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs>